Looks like we have four very beautiful and healthy main parachutes. Dragon, we see a nominal descent rate on four healthy mains. So there's that confirmation. Copy, 1,000 meters. Confirmation of those four healthy chute deployments. Dragon Endeavor continuing its slow descent. There we can see splashdown on screen. Those parachutes are then cut and released. Dragon Endeavor has now returned home. NASA astronauts Steve Bowen, Woody Hoberg, Sultan Al Nayadi, and Andre Tadiaev. Since that dragon splashed down, we are in water rough riding. Thanks, SpaceX. Endeavor, uh, we greatly appreciate all the support from all the initial training through the launch throughout the mission, uh, keeping us abreast of all the status of the vehicle and all the support all the way down. This has been incredible, greatly appreciated, and look forward to working with you all again. About nine mile an hour winds out of the east. The waves are considered to be rolling waves, so they're not choppy, but they are pretty big and more spread out rolling waves. But weather-wise, I think the crew will like what they feel when they get out of that capsule today and take their first breath of fresh air back here on Earth. You know, just to get some appreciation of what it took to stage the recovery forces and be prepared for this moment. Gary, it was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> we were about one and a half nautical miles away from the landing zone, and we had a great view. From so those medical teams took the time to get everything situated on the ship and ready to tend to the crew. And about two hours before splashdown, they deployed the fast boats into the water. I was actually on the second helicopter out, and we landed on the helicopter pad on top of the vessel about an hour before splashdown. Well, and by front, I mean where that individual is on the capsule. Uh, the darker circles are some of the outlines of where those uh, service section Dracos are.